না বলে নাচ রে আমার মন দয়ালি তাই চাই তার না বলে Five hundred years ago, Shri Krishna descended as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his most merciful incarnation to deliver the fallen souls of Kali Yuga. Principal among his associates well, was Lord Nityananda, who was none other than Lord Balrama, the incarnation of Ananta Sesha. Even though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu distributed the love of God freely to anyone willing to partake, Lord Nityananda was more merciful and gave his mercy even to unwilling, sinful and atheistic people. This is one such pastime which shows the boundless mercy of Lord Shri Nityananda. One day, Lord Chaitanya ordered Nityananda and Haridas Thakur. Listen, go and preach my order everywhere. Beg everyone to chant Krishna, worship Krishna. At the end of the day, come and report to me. Nityananda Prabhu always carries the Lord's order on his head. So together with Haridas Thakur, they left to fulfill the Lord's mission. They went to each and every house of Nadia. They requested everyone to chant, sing and worship Krishna. Brothers, chant the name of the Lord. They both dressed as sannyasis, so whomever they met, they would offer respects and invite them for lunch. But they would just say, Chant Krishna, worship Krishna, and learn topics of Krishna. Then they would leave. Only saintly people were pleased by the request. Others who were envious would disrespect them or take them as thieves trying to enter their homes. These people would scream, beat them or threaten to take them to the police. But Lord Nityananda and Haridas would just laugh. <laughs> Ah, not being afraid due to the strength of Lord Chaitanya's order. In the evening, they would return to Vishwambara and report everything. On the day, Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas Thakur were moving in the town. These two brothers, completely intoxicated, were alternatively fighting and embracing each other. After observing them for some time, Nityananda Prabhu compassionately desired to deliver them and thus approached them. Lord Chaitanya has come to deliver the fallen people of the sage. Where will we find the fallen people? If the Lord bestows mercy on these two drunkards, then the people will see his transcendental glory. Despite the warnings of the town people, Lernit Yananda and Haridas Thakur approached the two drunkards. While approaching the two sinners, they chanted, Krishna, Krishna, chant Krishna, worship him and glorify Krishna. Krishna is our mother, father, wealth, life. Give up this sinful life and surrender on to him. Hearing these words, the two sinners looked up and seeing the two saintly figures roared in anger. They leaped up and ran to catch the two sannyasis. Playing their pastimes, the two devotees 
fled at the sight of the attacking brothers. Oh, Vaishnava Haridas, what do you think? If we survive today, it will be our good fortune. Hold on! What can I do? This is what will happen if we preach from these two drunkards. Brothers, where are you going? How will, will you escape the grief of Jagai and Madai? Ah, 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 ah. The two lords pretending to be afraid. Krishna, oh Govinda, please save us! While running, Haridas Thakur proclaimed that this all this trouble was because he was in the company of a troublemaker, a trash that Nityananda Prabhu hotly denied. In this way, Lord Nityananda and Haridas Thakur laughed and ran. They finally disappeared into the home. Shiva's Acharya, leaving the bewildered brothers, searching for them in vain. In the meantime, the two brothers began to reside near Ganga, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bathed. Constantly drunk, they started harassing, terrorizing the devotees. At night, they could hear the sounds of the Kirtan coming from the house of Shiva Sacharya and would playfully sing and dance with the melody. One day, after traveling around Nadia, Nityananda Prabhu was returning home in the evening. Suddenly, the two brothers caught him. We <gasps> got you! Who is this? Who are you? What's your name? Nityananda already decided to deliver this to and had intentionally come to their place. Hearing this, Madhai became extremely angry. He picked up his picture and hit Lord Nityananda's head. The picture cut him and he started to bleed. But Lord Nityananda just remembered Govinda. Govinda! Govinda! Seeing the Lord's bleeding head, Jigai became compassionate and he stopped Madai from hitting again. Oh brother, why did you do such a cruel thing? It's not good to kill a sannyasi. Please leave him, leave him. Don't, please don't kill him. Hearing that Nityananda Prabhu had been heard by the brothers, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ran towards them with the intention to kill them. He summoned his chakra, which looked like death personified, to the two terrified brothers. Oh Lord, when Madhai tried to hit me again, this Jagai actually saved me. Just by chance, blood came out. I am not at all disturbed. Oh Lord, I beg you, please give me these two bodies in arms. Hearing Jagai save Nityananda, La Chaitanya became pleased, embraced Jagai and said, Lord Krishna be merciful unto you. By protecting Nityananda, you have purchased me. You may ask any boon that is within your heart. From today onwards, you will have pure love for Krishna. Hearing this, Shirai fell at the feet of the two lords and grasping the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wept. Seeing the wonderful transformation in his brother, a remorseful Madai begged for the mercy of the Lord. Please be merciful to me. I will chant your holy name. 
There's no one who can save me from this world. Please. However, since he had committed the worst of all offenses, that of attacking a Vaishnava, the Lord did not even consider all his pitiful pleas for mercy. Oh Lord, you can give mercy even to a tree. If there is any pity I have accumulated till now, I give it all to Madhai. I don't care of the offenses. Oh Lord, this Madhai belongs to you. Please be merciful. If we have forgiven him, please embrace him so his life will be successful. Thus, both Jagai and Madai were delivered. Sin no more. Dear, Dear Father, no more, not again. Oh Lord, these two are no more drunkards. They are my personal servants. From now onwards, I will personally take care of them. Having received the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nityananda, both of the brothers became con completely transformed. They would chant two lakh names of the Lord every day, offer everyone humble obeisances and constantly criticize themselves for their past sinful activities. From then on, the two brothers became pure devotees and spent their lives absorbed in service to Krishna. Today, the descendants still exist and are respectable brahmanas, while their tombs are considered sacred and can be visited in Goshata, one mile south of Katwa, West Bengal. While Jaga and Madai may seem extreme examples of little common with most of us, having committed murder, we can all to a certain extent see ourselves in them. We have all had times in our lives when we have sunk to the bottom, when we have been a very dark place, when we haven't been our true selves. Even as devotees, we may struggle in different ways, even if only with our minds. And with the material energy this modern world is permitted with, as it falls in on us and tries to crush us, we may feel as if we never achieve the pure love of God, the selflessness, the servitude of a pure devotee, and if there is no hope for us, but we should know that Lord Nityananda is there for us and will be always there for us. He does not judge us and he sees everyone as being essentially pure lovers of God simply covered over. Sri Gaurachandra will certainly deliver whoever hears of the salvation of Jagai and Madhai. Shri Gauranga Mahaprabhu ki jai! Shri Nityananda Prabhu ki jai! दयाल नीत चैतन्य बोले नाच रे अमर मन दयाल नीत चैतन्य बोले नाच रे अमर मन एम दयाल तो नाई हे दयाल तो नाई हे मार खे प्रेम दया मन दयाल तो नाई हे मार खे प्रेम दया मन दयाल तो नाई हे अपराध दूरे जाबे पावे प्रेम धन और अपराध दूरे जाबे पावे प्रेम धन दयाल नीताई चैतन्य बोले नाच 
श्री हमारे मन दयाल नीता चैतन्य बोले नाच रे हमारे म 